which you, you know brought into a discussion. I actually had posted this in our Capture the Magic Facebook group, and to his credit, I will say Pete Warner from the Diz had he made a post saying, essentially, it wasn't exactly, but he basically said, um, if Disney's wondering why their bookings are looking down. Here's a commercial from seven years ago to see what used to be free and what is no longer free. Extra time inside the parks, we call it extra magic hours. These extra magic hours happen every single day. It's called a magic band. Another cool perk you get when you stay in a Disney Resort hotel. You can even use your magic band at our Fast Pass Plus locations. As a guest of a Disney Resort hotel, you get first access to Fast Pass Plus service up to 60 full days before you check in. Flying into Orlando Airport? Then you get to experience Disney's Magical Express service. We can pick you up with our airport bus. Drop your bags and you at your doorstep. Transportation, it's on us. And it's very stark comparison when you look at that. We've talked about it many times, but all the things just seven years ago that were included in Disney Vacation that made it, again, it's not like a Disney Vacation was cheap seven years ago, but all these things were included to make you feel like, wow, I'm getting so much of my vacation. And, you know, things like no longer Magical Express, no longer uh, free Magic Bands, uh, no, you know, obviously free Fast Passes. But it's interesting because, and we've talked about it eventually, like, is there a moment where, you know, and, and there's a lot of things here. There's the economy. And I think there's a lot of this stuff with Disney. We've talked about the bad guest satisfaction satisfaction that has been reported back. This may be where people have started to kind of be like, you know, I don't think I'm going to go back or that seems like a lot of hassle because they're making a lot of changes that are, ex you know, basically addressing this problem. Which I am very happy about. Well, like, that's what a company should do. And it looks like that's what they're trying to do. So I'll commend them for that. Agreed. I mean, the, you know, you, know at, on some, you have to listen to your customers. And the right. parks are, if you look at the earnings report they had, the brightest spot they had were the parks. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that they want as a company is for the parks to slide. Because the parks start sliding along with the other things in the current trend that they are. That's not going to show good for the stock price of, of Disney, for sure. Mm -hmm.